Hey, welcome back once again to Victor's Bizarre Bootleg Adventures where we take a look at different bootlegs, knockoffs, ripoffs, knickknack, pedwag, give a dog a bone, stuff that seems to end up here in the jewel from around the world. Um, this time a little bit different, it'll be a slightly bit longer, hopefully not too long for the upload on Monday. And I just want to make a correction that this Monday will be the last upload for a while. Um, yeah, because during the month of September, we'll be having the September celebration. And it will be kind of pretty hectic at work. Especially since yours truly will be working at the, fir at the um, annual Belize Chamber of Commerce Expo at the IT vet where I have went to from the past 20 odd years since I've actually been alive only one year I haven't went because my mom was sick and I was very little but anyways enough about that I just want to show off some of the rip off or cheesy Belizean stuff that they usually pat around during the September celebration and some other patriotic stuff that I have of course we have a little assistant pool Sporting one of his own little flag that I made for him. He doesn't really have thumbs, fingers for the matter of fact, so I have to tape it on. But he's sporting a Silver Blaze logo that, if which comes to the knockoff and ripoffs, that if I ever see these gold ones, black ones, any different size that has that type of scroll on it, more likely most of the stuff that had those are. Not from Belize, most of me in China or Guatemala or Mexico, depending on the location. And they're just trying to sell it off, being as trying to sell it off as a Belize made product so we can steal your tourist money. Mwahaha. And I reveal the secrets. Oh no. But, anyways, enough about secrets. I just want to mention the first thing that we have here. As maybe you might recognize this, uh, maybe if you've been to like any 4th of July. P parties or any oh, use US as a reference you might remember stop seeing like tattoos or whatnot and then with the American flag and we do have Belizean tattoos most of the ship of flags some of them selling on the streets right now these are kind of oldish um, some of them are the reverse American fla Belize flags some of them are like these stuff um, let's see if we can show you how one would normally work. If you can tell, I actually want to make Pooh's flag. Oh well, he likes it anyway. I have a lot of that water, but anyway. Anyway, well, it. Anyway, that sticks. Let's look at the other stuff. Um, not a real much intriguing about them. They do sport the signal of the country. And speaking about the signal of the country, we also have these fancy bumper stickers. Yeah, more likely if you live in the US or any part of the world for that matter of fact, each country would dedicate their own, like, have their own sticker with the country name and the country flag. These are no exceptions. Very nice at the dollar store. They stick on the car very well. And for being like a few years old, they're not really that bad. But if you look actually close to this particular um, flag, you'll notice that the man on the right, I mean left hand side, is yellow. Um, usually the, the coat of arm would usually look like this, but in, what, in the infamous... Um, Late 2000, there was this infamous case about the yellow man on the Belgian flag, which upset many patriotic Belgian because usually the man would be more so like a peach color, usually representing the mestizo or light skinned population, while the dark skin would normally represent the Afri those of African origins. But, and then they make joke, well, racial jokes about yellow man being Chinese and Asian, things like that. Um, sorry. 
But like as the years go by, the yellow man has slowly been faded away. More manufacturers are starting to use different peach color. In the or originally, it's not even supposed to be like the yellow. It's not supposed to be even peach color because the real, the actual coat of arms that they used in Belize back in, they had two African guys representing the um the slave yet later on indentured servants that worked. Ah, it worked better on the paper, but yet not on the skin. Balls. Balls, I say. Balls. Anyway, let's see if we have anything else. I actually have this for quite a while. Um, this is like the Belizean rug. Yeah, more, you would remember, if you live in like US, Canada, UK, each country would do their own flag rug, like wash rugs or whatnot. But this one I actually got last year during the car during carnival. It's not like carnival as in like county fair or anything like that. It's just um, almost similar to Mardi Gras to in the U.S. or um, yeah, like Mardi Gras in the U.S. But except that we celebrate in September. While um, I know in the U.S. they celebrate it on Fat Tuesday, day before Ash Wednesday. Leading up to the Lent, the Lent season, I'm not really too sure if I have that correct. Ah, boss. Anyways, and if you could see the little tiny flag ripped, ah oh, well. Ah oh, well, what can you do? Let's see what we have here. Oh, yeah, sorry, I just want to bring this back in. Be patriotic, pool. And then we also have another flag that I bought um, tonight actually, coming home. Um, this is like one of those flags with the stick on it. The, the yellow man still comes into play. It doesn't look as much yellow as before compared to the other one. But if you could see that sometimes, as you can see throughout the years, the tree actually grow and there's actually like a base here. But it's basically kept the same. It's also representative of like the country's growth. Two dollars actually upside down from Simon Kwan, even though I say I won't buy a Simon Kwan right as of now, but they're open when the store are open. And if you can tell they're only printing it on one side where which is the reason why they are selling for like um two dollars Belize, which is one dollar US. These are like the type of flag that kids will usually wave in the streets, especially like during um Uniform parades and whatnot. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this. You might recognize, you might not recognize it by the look, but these are like what bangers? Like what they play at sporting arenas, especially like at baseball games. They might be well known more in places like Japan where you got these two long thingies and then you bang them together. You got the instruction written in both English and in Chinese. Yeah, Chinese. Telling how to blow them up and how to bang them together one more. Let's take a quick look. Sorry if not much of these are like really sorry that I haven't gotten much um lost fancy looking stuff. Well um the budget was kinda really low this year, but I tried my best. Hopefully you can see. You got the little tubule here, and then you stick it up for this thing here. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's here. Let's see. Uh, penetrate. No, don't think about it. Anyway, let's see how it works. Uh, I have them lungs. Yeah, if you could actually see it very well, it's actually built up really nicely. Yeah, nice shape, nice form. It actually holds together. Um, eventually they do deflate, but in the meantime, if we're at a sporting arena or probably at carnival this year, or 10th of September celebration, or even the 21st, you might be seeing a lot of these around, especially since the store that I work with only sell these. I don't see anywhere else selling them because they're kind of rare. What else can that melt do? 
<laughs> yeah, they're kind of defeating, but anyway, behold. Yeah, they make noise. They will deflate soon. Will I be sad? Maybe. But hopefully Pooh will survive. Hey Pooh! Anyway, um, let's see, anything else? Oh, this is one thing that's not really bootleg, but or should I say two few things here that aren't really bootleg, but they're really nice and okay. That I really, really want to like um, show off. I think the first one here is um, bear in mind with me. I got this like many years ago at the um, same expo that I'm going this year, and this was to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the nation's independence. Um, right now is going. This year is going to be the 36th. But it's still important because it's like the 30th anniversary coin. Um, hold on, let's see if I can get it in good position here. Sorry, it was normally in this package, but I guess in this plastic got weak over there. So I just keep it in here, not opening it, not even touching it with my bare hands. Anyway, if you can see, clearly actually shows the 30th anniversary of, the, of independence. I'm um, showing the nation. This is actually a $2 coin note, I mean, coin. And right here, if you can freeze the image, you can read about the Royal Mint actually making these. This one that I have in particular is made out of copper nickel, a common metal that is usually used to make um, normal coins like the quarter or in this case, these kind of coins. I'm really proud to have these. I think they only cost me about 20 quids, I'm not really sure. And I got this like months later, I guess, after that. Um, it's the Belize $2 coin celebrating the 200th anniversary of Belize in the, of the Battle of St. George's Key. Um, the Battle of St. George's Key is just um, is one of the significant battles in Belize's history, which we, which the Baymans are the, the British settlers that been there and grown up there. Part of the Spanish Armada that came to Belize trying to take over the land. You can see two dollars. Um, can't really freeze these one. This right here just tells the facts about the um what went on, things like that. I don't really know what happened here, but I'm just glad that the plastic got it. Yeah. And it actually tells like um the African slaves along with the um the Bayman actually helped to fight off the Spanish Armada. And if you really look it up, it's really really a thrilling story they even had stamps that came all the time even these coins were once in circulation and i have a couple of them in my collection but i don't really want to show them off right now because the book is really bulky with belizean coins and speaking of belizean currency i just want to show off maybe just a few more sorry if this is not big enough i just want to show you off the first coin Mo the monetary authority of these these are actually one dollar paper currency um well some of them are i'll show you the, the development central bank of Belize. that's the first like issue basically like, wrong the first issue and these are like the this is like the last issue of the one dollar bill till they convert it to the coins and this is like the earliest issue of the two dollar bill dating back to 1991 and later on, you could see that they significantly changed the size and design, certain designs of it. But anyway, it's still pretty much Belizean. I really, really want to show them off. And I hope my little buddy, the Weebo, <laughs> the Weebo Power Ranger Super Sentai lover of currency would love to see that. And then we have this here. This is actually the calendar for the um, September events going on. Like I mentioned, these are this actually has the events going on in the city and several parts of the nation, including here on the 16th of September, which will be a Saturday, which will be the BCCI Expo, Belize Senior Bar Commerce Institute uh, Expo at the IT vet. I'll be working there with the dollar store booth, Toyland booth. 
yeah, it will continue. It's it's a two day event, and I really, really am excited to go there. And we'll put a lens over that one there. Let's see. One more thing, one more thing before we end off. These, yeah. Well, I'm guessing if you have been at a Fourth of July or a Bastille Day event or anywhere that has the blue, white, and red colors, you know these very well. Hey, this one. Oh man, he's already puckered out. Oh, anyway. Yeah, if you know these. Sorry. If you've been to a 4th of July ceremonies or whatever, you see a whole lot of these things. Where you're putting a candle or your lights or whatever in them. Not bad. 150 Belize from Sam Conagan. I really wish I could have more Belizean items, but yeah. These also work with the US, um, Puerto Rico, France. Poland, I think. No. Yeah, Russia. Yeah, anyway, that you feel it is important. Yeah, just want to say, well, that's your lot for this week. I got a few more stuff here, but yeah, I don't really want to show them. Just want to say, um, thank you for watching Victor's Bizarre Bootleg Adventures. Sorry, it's not really the um, fancy one. There's not much music in the background or anything, but I just want to say that. Uh, I'll be signing off for a while next week. Not coming back until the 25th because the 21st is the is Independence Day, Belize. And I also ha I'll be leaving uh, a link to the page uh, a new list that I made, which is showing Belize patriotic song, especially the one that I'll be trying to attempt singing now. Is it? <coughs> which will come in handy because the coming week. I mean, coming next week, Monday, I mean, Sunday will be the 10th of September, where we celebrate the Battle of St. George's scheme. But the holiday will be officially celebrated on the 11th, which, in a way, I have to apologize to our US viewers who have family, friends, relatives, uh, whoever suffered on, the, on September 11th, 2001. Just my deepest condolences. My love and respect to you all. For any further ado, I just <laughs> do a little song. It's just a few a tidbit. <coughs> it was the tenth day of September in nineteen many where our forefathers won the glorious battle Saint George's key. Heal them. I'll be leaving a link to the song Better Song and also with the patriotic um, listing as well. I just want to say thank you for watching my show and I hope you have a lovely week and a lovely month as well. Thanks.